But then, let me explain something to you here. I like I like the point of view that you're bringing on, um, that you're coming from, like where you're coming from. But apparently, I've been, um, you know, I used to um, volunteer for United Nations, so apparently I just stopped working for them. But I still have access to some data from World Health Organization. And um, from the training that we started, I started a training. I stopped working with UN so I could be part of um, WU. So from the training that we, I took some professional courses, some certification courses um, on coronavirus. And I think you're saying the opposite of what we believe. And what we believe is that Nigeria is trying as much as possible to not exaggerate the numbers because the numbers are actually more than this. Now, the governor of your state this morning released a statement and said that um, there was a case in Bodija. But then I already said that three days ago, four days ago, on, on one WhatsApp group for UIT. I would add you to the group now, Word of UIT. Very proactive group, interesting group. I already. I already said that on Word of UIT some few days ago. And then the governor of your state is now reporting it today. We have we have reported from our intel. We have reported because NCDC reports to Dr. Alimu, the representative, she's a Rwandan, the representative of World Health Organization in Nigeria. Do you understand? First of all, Nigeria does not have that money. From a reliable source, I'm not supposed to be saying this. Nigeria wants to buy just um, protective gear you know the you know that overall that they wear in china that's what nigeria wants to buy from china used while in china they wear it once and dispose it so the disposed ones they want to buy one for thirty-two thousand naira, and they can't purchase the new one because we are actually broke nigeria doesn't have anything in their reserve anymore Bari has spent money anyhow they've embezzled they've, they don't know how money disappeared all the loans and countries are not willing to grant loans anymore so what they are waiting on and what every state is waiting for is for World Bank to release money. World Bank is planning to release money. I know you don't see all these things in news yet, but very soon you'll see it. World Bank is planning to release money very soon. So Nigeria can have something so we can buy and create isolation centers. As far as I'm concerned, it's only Lagos we have standard isolation centers. We don't even have anyone in Abuja. If you're sick, they will take you to they will take you to UCH in Ibadan. And UCH doesn't even have, they don't even have isolation centers as well. I was talking to the head of virology, the consultant in, in UCH. I was there not two days ago because she was, she was, she needed some advice because she was going to go on air yesterday, um, Splash FM. And our conversation is very, they've shut down. Everybody ran home. Now when consultants in virology, epidemiology these people are running home, people that are supposed to take care of them, you know that there's a problem. The cases are actually more than what the government is pushing out because they don't want to create panic and that's why the government is not being proactive in educating people but they are they are taking it wrongly they should create the fear so people will stay home the best way to cut short a pandemic is when you create fear people stay home then the ones that test positive will come it's not as if if you have the virus you will die Modality rate as at when I will send you a, a write up that I did as at January after I finished my first certification course was mortality rate as at that time was zero point two percent, but the virus mutated. Mm. What I'm saying is the vi- mutation is a change in genetic sequence. Like the virus changed again, and we thought the virus would attack just old people, and I will now figure out that the virus has started attacking young people. So we have two strains mm. of coronaviruses, COVID nineteen, out there now, and the asymptomatic strain is the one in that the, is the one we are recording in africa is one we are recording in nigeria i mean the asymptomatic meaning that the ones that don't even show symptoms so a lot of people are currently carrying the viruses around and they, they, they are sharing it because and they don't know because they're not sneezing or the symptoms the common cold everything is not there and they're feeling fine but they're actually sick do you understand what i'm saying and it's going to take a lot of lives a lot of lives because an average nigerian has an underlying health issues so if if you have if you have asthma if you have diabetes if you have if you have heart problem if you have if you have seizures anything you have once you contract the virus is going to prey on that weaken your immune system and you go down but if you have an okay immune system then you'll be fine now look at the rate of youth that smoke weed look at the rate of youth that take alcohol now judge their immune system look at the air that we're breathing in nigeria every day now use that to um 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 think of the immune system you can just visualize the immune system of an average nigerian it's not as strong and that's why everybody has to stay at home i've been 
I've not been out in a while, but I'm still putting myself on 14 days isolation in case I observe anything. I know what to do. I know the drugs to take because I've taken the course. And now we keep educating people, but people don't want to believe. We have to believe that the virus is real and it's spreading fast. Like it's spreading. We are expecting over 1,000 cases starting from tomorrow because everybody to church today why did they go to church chicks why did they go to church you're not supposed to go anywhere the president went for jumat service the vice president is in church today preaching there is going to be a meltdown very soon this was the same approach Italy took they didn't take them serious at first now they had 700 and something deaths yesterday and the debt is increasing that was why President Thomas told us that two days ago, um, 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 a month ago, we had 0.2 mortality rate calculation. As at yesterday, 700 deaths per day. But we are still pinning it. We are still believing that we are pinning it on the the um due to old population in Italy. So that's, that still makes sense. But come to Nigeria, we are over 180 million, and over 80 million are youths. So we are looking at 100 million, and our estimate is 45 million people are going to die is not if the virus spreads the way it should the way it's spreading in italy 45 million people are going to die based on the fact that we don't even have any any healthcare system at all so everybody has to be careful nobody wants to get sick because if you get sick you're not getting treated no jokes forget the italian that that got negative how many people can the isolation center take at once how many ventilators do you have how many healthcare workers do you have who are willing to sacrifice their lives and that's why I'm saying, ah, Jesus, this voice note is too long. And that's why I'm saying that you're not spewing rubbish. It's how you understand it. But then we have to take necessary precautions. We have to be careful. We have to be as careful as possible. Because one thing is inevitable and that's death. But then we have to uh, um, um, be, know how to live our lives. Else, man, people are going to die. Especially our parents, old ones, young ones. I'm, I'm sorry but that's just the truth i'm not being I'm, I'm not being i'm not going to say things that are not true because i can see i'm like it's something i've studied it's something that we are seeing in italy we predicted this in italy we predicted it in iran we predicted it in malaysia and these things are happening and now we are predicting it in nigeria again that if they do not if people do not they can still do something now they can put soldiers outside they can force people to stay in their homes but they don't want to do it because if people start coming up sick, they don't have necessary health equipment to take care of them. So they would rather the virus spreads and then they, so they get money from more health organization and they take care of themselves and they allow people to die. And that's the point. That's why we have to keep shouting. We have to keep advising people. Stay at home. Stay indoors. Take 14 days isolation, quarantine. Stay at home. Eat well. Because when you have the disease, it's not about how you treat yourself. It's about the lifestyle you've been living before you contracted the disease. It's about how strong your immune system is before you contracted the disease. The disease these are the things that you're supposed to look out for these are the things that you're supposed to look out for so in this case i'm sorry i just think that nigeria is in for a tough one and i'm, I'm not trying to be negative i'm in fact i'm having a positive mindset that it was prayed by god's grace i'm just believing in god the african immune won't make me stop believing in god but we also have to do things we also have to be careful jesus has spoken for eight minutes well i hope you listen to this voice note anyways <laughs> to the voice note anyways